good do you rate on ISIS? Hmm. Yeah, I figure skaters. Okay, I'll take it. How good could it be? Or to make history. Hi, hello, people of YouTube. Tis I once more, the creme de this ass, and here today to give you guys another anime review. Now, before I get started with this anime review, first off, I would like to mention that this anime was recommended to me by two of my friends from the after school program, Alan and Coquette. So, if you're watching this review, guys, special shout out to you guys for recommending me to watch Yuri on Ice. With that being said, Let's go with this! So the story of Yuri on Ice follows Yuri Katsuki, a figure skater who completely lost his last year Grand Prix final and completely was devastated after this event. So after he goes, after, a year later after he fails this event, he goes back to his home of Japan and completely wonders what is he going to do with himself after that. It was until then at that moment that Victor Nikivarov, Yuri's idol and Yuri, the reason why Yuri figure skates is because of him, Decides to coach him, and he coaches him, and they form a bond, they form a relationship, and they plan, they plan to go ahead to the next year's Grand Prix final and become a gold medalist. So they set off into believing in that dream, and yada 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 ensued. So I'm not gonna lie to you, people of YouTube, I was very interested to checking out Yuri on Ice for a number of reasons. Number one, it's an anime about figure skating, and I've never seen an anime tackle figure skating before so I feel like it should this anime should kind of open my eyes and open a new realm of of the world that I haven't really noticed or haven't even seen especially in anime and plus figure skating is just an elegant beautiful sport that just mesmerizes me every time I watch the Olympics it's a fucking fantastic beautiful sport I love the I love figure skating and you know, I, I don't play figure skating but I sure as hell watch people do it especially in the Olympic times and it's amazing. I love figure skating. It's awesome. It's an awesome little thing. So, an anime tackling figure skating definitely uh, piqued my interest. Not to mention that two of my friends, as I mentioned before, really wanted me to watch Yuri on Ice. And above all else, the main other reason why I wanted to check out Yuri on Ice was because of the main couple of the anime, who is incidentally a yaoi couple, and or who have like a yaoi sort of chemistry going on between the two of them and honestly i really wanted to check this anime out and above all else this anime won a lot of awards especially in the crunchyroll awards like damn i wasn't expecting this many awards to go to yuri on ice so i had high expectations when it comes to yuri on ice so this anime kind of you know ha you know was up there so i had to watch it so i finally watched it to its completion in English dub, by the way, I have you know, I watched it in the Funimation English dubbed, and I'll give you my thoughts on the English dub in a minute. But what are my thoughts on UD on Ice? Well, let's get into it, shall we? Well, the first and biggest pro for UD on Ice, well, I will go and give it to the English dub. Funimation did a fantastic job doing its English dub, providing well-told voice actors and well-given voice roles to very star and talented voice actors like Josh Greeley, Micah Solan, Colleen Clinkenbeard, and above all else, more and more. I think Ian Sinclair was also one of the voice actors. And again, they all did a fantastic job. They all did an amazing job performing as their lead roles. They did a great job. So props to the English dub. Good, good, good job, Funimation. As normally, the animation people of YouTube, my god, I was completely mesmerized when it comes to the anime. The animation and the choreograph animation that they that they did for this anime, breathtaking. The, 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 especially the, the scenes that they figure skate. My god, my eyes were like glue. My eyes were just glued to the screen. I, I just... I could not look away on how beautiful, elegant, and just overall, again, mesmerizing how it looked. Seeing people figure skate and these elegant stories that they tell as they figure skate, it just mind blows me and I, I love it. I ate that shit up. Every time that they figure skated or someone was figure skating in the anime, I ate that shit up because it was just 
mesmerized. It was gorgeous. I loved it. The two key elements to make a great anime would it be its story and characters. The story of Yuri on Ice, albeit very simplistic, nothing really out of the box, was serviceable and very well told. I definitely do like me an underdog story, so it gets props for telling a really decent and um, really good job for the underdog story, and I absolutely loved it. And, you know, it, it, it doesn't take any risks when it comes... Uh, the only thing I would say that's kind of risque is that it's about figures, yaoi figure skaters. That's honestly what it is. And... Uh, I honestly don't know what to say else. It's just a simple story revolving this kid who, you know, who's down in the dumps, but then the higher, F, uh, the highest person who won gold medals and won records and shit coaches uh, said character. It, it's a simple story, but very well told, and I did like how they tackled it. The characters of the anime, albeit, is completely different. The characters are all well told and all well developed. Some few shining better than others, but I did like the majority of the characters in Yudi on Ice. In particular, our main protagonist, Yudi. And I I, I like Yudi. Uh, Yudi kind of resembles a lot to me. He tends to doubt himself in some moments and he tends to, you know, not really take things for granted and he definitely treasures the moments that he had and plus his moments with Victor on ice. I felt a huge chemistry and a huge bond between Yudi and Victor as they as they're just two peas in a pod and you just feel you just feel so attached to them and you fell in love with them. Victor is probably my favorite character in Yudi on Ice. Him stepping up into coaching little Yudi as he tries to coach him and give him points and give him all this tips and training on how to be an elegant great figure skater. I definitely like him, and I definitely love his character. You really feel a freaking just, oh, I love this dude. And, he, and he's a pretty funny character, nonetheless. Like, there are a lot of really funny moments featuring Victor, and it just, it just had me smiling. It had me laughing. They're just so, he's awesome. I love Beauty. Uh, Victor. I also love Beauty, too. They're awesome together. They're a dynamic duo, okay? Um, another character that I would say I would like, um... Mm. Some of the side characters honestly weren't really rememberable. Honestly, the real only real rememberable characters that I can truly remember was Yudio and uh, Yudi's um, sensei, almost uh, Yudi's uh, ballerina instructor, sort of. And honestly, those two are really good, especially Yudio. I like Yudio too. Yudio. He had a lot of uh, things dealing with himself. He's the youngest figure skater, and plus, he had a lot of shit going on. And, you know, he, he's definitely arrogant, but in a lot of ways, it contributes to his figure skating. And a, a point that the Black Critic guy made in his review, I don't know, I saw his review before, but that was like a while, a while ago, um, was that when the characters figure skate, they show what their character is like. And yes, I can, I can clearly see that. When characters are figure skating in the anime, they perfectly capture what their character is. For example, Yudio, who is, who is a very arrogant, very kind, you can clearly see that in his figure skating, his passion, his glory, his everything when it comes to his figure skating. Honestly, you don't even need to know anything about these characters, but when they're skating and when they're on the ice, you can clearly tell what their character is and what they're all about just by how the way that they're dancing and is amazing. Again, contributing to the beautiful and elegant figure skating scenes in the anime. They're fantastic. I love them. So Yudio, again, contributing to his figure skating, is a very arrogant character, but you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of layers to him, and I, I felt attached to him. I like Yudio, he's a fantastic character. Um, but some of the other characters, I mean some characters, I don't really remember their names, to be honest. I think I only I think the only real character I truly remembered was this guy named Kristoff. <laughs> There, there was just a lot of funny scenes featuring Kristoff, and plus there's just a lot of scenes in general, you know, that made him stood out the most, in my opinion. Um, but there was also this one, like, really douchey character. His name was JJ, and uh, he was a pleb. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, he was a pleb. He was a pleb. But besides that, I mean, the characters in general, they're just very solid. Just, I felt like... Had they gotten more screen time and you really gotten to know them a little more, 
Yeah, then I could have bought it. Um, and that's pretty much it when I want to talk about to you about the characters, but unfortunately, people of YouTube, I kind of do have a little issues with Yuri on Ice. The main issue of Yuri on Ice, and honestly, this is quite the only reason that I kind of found with the anime that's kind of a con, was this constant reuse of, re of you know, rehashed animation. There's a lot of, especially with the scenes with Yuri uh, and his figure skating, you can obviously tell that they're just cut and paste, copy paste. Of what they're saying, of what they're um, dancing, and I mean, I'm sure they kind of switch things up a bit when it comes to the actual performance itself. But it's pr it's pretty much the same animation, regardless of how. Even if you change it, it's still the same animation, regardless. And honestly, you know, I only wish that they could have, you know, tweaked it a, a tiny bit, especially when, especially Yuri, because Yuri is like the only the noticeable reuse rehashed animation. The other characters didn't really have rehashed animation because they were mainly introduced and they were very um, elegant and different from their performances, but Yuri, you can obviously tell that the, the animators kind of had to reuse his animation a lot. A lot. And that's honestly the only issue that I have with Yuri on Ice. Now, I mean, I guess what you can call a nitpick would be that I only wish that the anime kind of featured a lot of duets. Like, there's not just besides, like, single male, male figure skating. There's a, little, a lot of duets in figure skating. And I only wish that they, that they actually showed at least one or two. That's kind of a nitpick, though. Um, it doesn't really detract from the overall experience. I just felt like maybe that's something that kind of should have added in the anime. But that's besides the point. It doesn't really matter at the end. Yuri on Ice is a fantastic anime. So all this factoring in people of YouTube... I give my Yuri, I give my review for Yuri on Ice. The final verdict is definitely a 9 out of 10. Definitely go check out Yuri on Ice. And thank you to Alan and Coquette for making me watch this anime. Honestly, it was literally because of them. Because honestly, the only reason why I honestly watched the English dub of the anime was because that they were playing it uh, on the computer. Like, like, we were just chilling one day. And one of the computers were open. And we went on the computer and we saw Yuri on Ice. And I'm like, damn, I should watch this anime, really. And on and it doesn't contribute to Romance Month, but I'll let it slide. And don't worry, people of YouTube, because my next review for Romance Month will be coming very shortly. I just need to really truly sit down and watch the movie itself. Yes, it's a movie, but I'm not gonna tell you which one. I mean, I've been, I mean, I definitely one I really wanted to check out. Um, but besides that, people of YouTube, nine out of ten, definitely an anime worth watching. Go check out Yuri on Ice. If you have not. And I would like to know what did you guys think of Beauty on Nice? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please leave a comment down below and let me know. And stay tuned for my next review for Romance Month. It will come soon. And if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. And until then, people of YouTube, Desire the Crimson Assassin, signing out. Peace, YouTube.